What's up my fellow meal trainers? Today I'll be guiding you guys from bottom to top a full meal workout that anybody can do on how to switch moves with extreme speed and precision. It takes no equipment, it can be done anywhere right from the ground. It can be done by anyone with any fitness level and see amazing results. Drop a like if you like videos like this and I will make a part 2 because of how many moves you can practice on Mew. Without hesitation, get ready to follow along with Mew in your practice mode on your phone or on your switch and let's begin. Oh and feel free to come back to this video whenever you want to enhance your Mew skills. Oh and by the way, if someone shows you a video like it, just turn it away. Doing stuff like this will make you better because all you're doing is spamming buttons without thinking. In the real game, you will need to think what moves you need before changing. First things first, before you start practicing how to switch moves fast on Mew, you want to make sure your skill buttons and move resets are in the correct places. You can do this by going into the settings and practice mode controls scroll all the way down to adjust the placement of your buttons the tip is to make it natural that when you place your thumb on the screen it's going to press on the move reset button that way you don't need to look before you hit the button first tip don't watch the, where the buttons are you want to make it muscle memory to hit the moves in the correct place without looking for example i want Solar Beam Light Screen, I want Surf and Agility, I want Electro Ball and Coaching. You get it. You need to make it as natural as possible. We'll start off with an easy one, which is Flicking Beams. You want to have your Solar Beam ready, and you want to go to the bottom path of this spot, turn on and off Wild Pokemon, and start flicking on the Wild Pokemon with your Solar Beams in each single direction. Make sure that you are clawing your phone or your device while you are doing this and remember to let go after doing it. Do not stop the joystick movements to keep your hands active. Moving on will be the advanced beams, which will include the light screen in it. So what you're going to do is to stand in the same spot, you want to hit move reset, select solar beam like just now, hit your solar beam, but when solar beam comes out, you select light screen and pull out your light screen. This requires you to have speed in order to pull this off. Do this for all the directions like just now. Again, remain active on your joystick movements. Don't let go of your finger. This isn't as easy as it looks, but with enough practice, you'll be able to pull this off in the game with fast solar beams. Next up will be the Time Boosted Evo. To do this, you'll need your light screen and your electro ball. You want to time your booster with your electro ball to hit both at the same time. At the same time, you want to be prioritizing your boosted attacks when you build up that boosted. Like for example here, I can use light screen twice and I can use my boosted and my electro ball. You can do all sorts of variations with this. You can do light screen boosted into e-ball, 
there are tons of variations that you can do and to know if you're doing it right use the audio cue you want to make sure the electro ball sound hits last when you do it The next practice will be going to be about the maximum damage with beam and e-ball. What I want you to do is use up your current moves and make sure you use all the boosters and after using one move immediately switch from e-ball to solar beam. Use up your boosted, solar beam, boosted into e-ball. Just change from move to move just so that when you are fighting in a real game you are supposed to use up your beam and then immediately switch into slower beam. Make sure you can do this fast to achieve the maximum DPS. Keep track of the boosted counts, make it natural. Don't forget to move reset before you use the boosted attack. Moving up is the surf escape where you use surf and agility to combo your move. What you want to do is surf in front and then agility backwards. You want to make sure your joystick must be the same direction as the agility. To know if you're doing it correct is when you surf in front and then agility back, you'll get a kick and you will know that you will do it correct if you come back further than where you started. You can also practice with other directions too. Coming up is the Super Surf where you need a boosted attack to pair it with your surf and your agility and by doing this you need to do at a certain time where you do boosted surf and agility you can do this for all positions and you can also train for your surf escape when the surf ends this allows you to dive in without risking much and it might be even crucial for scoring goals like these To be even advanced, you can use your basic attack with your surf and agility. We just have two more to go and it will be beam redirection. What I want you to do is use your booster and reposition it with your beam. You need to be clear on the distance and refrain from measuring your agility. To go even further advanced, you can use your move reset, solar beam and then agility afterwards just like how you would with the advanced solar beams. And you can also use the eject button to reposition so that you can do these massive long distance beams.
here's a bonus practice. Whenever the jump pad's there, you can use it to jump over and when the moment you stand on the tornado, agility and beam. Do this to steal Rayquaza. Practice this enough and just so you take every chance at stealing Rayquaza that you have. least is the invincible unite. What you need to do is hit back to base when it passes the V on the invincible word and you explode while going home. To know if you're doing it correctly, the doll must take damage and the invincible words must be there when you explode. an example of doing it wrongly where when it explodes you see your name after the words invincible right here Phew. and there we have it my mule muscles are on fire definitely going to get some mule muscles after this if you were able to complete this routine with me congratulations you're also on your way to having some mule muscles for actually being strong by using all these different combos and staying consistent. Don't forget to come back to this video to get even stronger. Feel free to comment down your thoughts and if I should make a part 2. Thanks for watching. My name is Naimu Foxy and I'll see you guys next time.